I want you to think for just a moment of all of your favorite innovations, whatever they are. I want you to pick one. Is it a cell phone, a supersonic jet, a medicine that saved your life or the friends or neighbor or loved one's life? What is that technology that really excites you? Take a minute to wonder where that came from, but not just where it came from, but how it actually started. What you're looking at is the world's most powerful creative force, and that's our youth. In January, the Blue Mountain Council held a STEM event at the Richland Community Center, where the PACs and the troops that attended had the opportunity to spend a day building their own models with a variety of Legos, even building their own cars and co-building cars and racing those cars against each other. While they're having fun, they're learning some incredibly important skills for a future in science and technology, engineering and math. They're not just learning about how to build things and about engineering things and about physics and how things work. They're also learning the skills that teach them how to work in teams, how to work together, how to take advantage of the strengths and ideas of one group of kids or one particular kid and add it to the strengths and skills of the other kids to succeed in something like a race. So why are we talking about STEM? And that's because people are far more familiar with the outdoor aspects of scouting, the hiking, the camping, the fishing, the canoeing, the whitewater rafting, the sailing, the fire building, the cooking, the archery, the shooting sports. And they're not as familiar with the fact that scouting has a very rich STEM tradition and a great STEM program. There's a whole host of merit badges that are related to STEM. There's nuclear engineering, there's engineering, there's robotics, there's chemistry. There is nature and science and environmental science where youth can explore all these different scientific areas and disciplines and learn about the career field and learn a little bit about the science that goes on in those fields. And I can say from experience as a scientist that there are three things related to the scouting experience that are critical to be successful in STEM fields. The first of one, which is obvious, is to understand some scientific discipline. The other aspect of it is to be able to work in teams teams that work effectively and take advantage of the best of every single team member, whether one's great at science, one's great at engineering, one's great at math, one's a great leader, one's a great communicator. The ability to build those teams and understand what it means to be a leader is also essential for success in the STEM field. But the third part is probably not well known at all, which is you have to have grit. You have to be determined to succeed in the STEM field because most of it is learning from a lot of mistakes. And that's another thing that scouting does. Put them in the outdoor program into sometimes difficult circumstances where problems come up where we don't have what we need to solve the problem. We don't have individually the knowledge to solve the problem and we have to still solve that problem. The thing to remember in the end is that scouting is a first-in-class youth leadership development program that also gives them incredibly important experiences in the STEM disciplines. And on top of that, gives them the third missing component for success in those fields, which is grit, determination, and resilience. 